Aaron Cabarro, uh, 2008 Olympic gold medalist, and the six-time national, U.S. national team rowing member. Um, I'm just going to walk you guys through a little bit of uh, erg warm-up, or rowing machine warm-up, that would help you out to uh, maximize your rowing workout. Um, so first thing first, I usually get on the machine and do an easy 10 minutes. Um, we'll gradually increase the pressure and the rate a little bit to my steady state clip. So my steady state's around two minutes. Um, so I'll start out around a 210 and then gradually take it down as the 10 minutes go along. Um, this 10 minutes is actually a great time to work on some of your technique flaws and um, just become more efficient on the machine. So a good little drill that you can try is just do your 10 minutes feet out, um, which looks a little bit like this. We'll uh, maybe have a little bit of a trial and error, error session um, when you first get on, but you'll figure it out. So you just want to keep your feet attached to the footboards, even though you aren't strapped in with the strap. Um, so then after 10 minutes, you get a little bit of sweat going. Um, I usually get off and do some hip openers and um, a little dynamic warm-up and mobility. So hips and shoulders, get those good and loose, warmed up. Right after that, I'll get back on the machine and do about five to eight sets of builders, we call them. And you start at a lower stroke rate, so I would say around a stroke rate 22, and do the whole 20 strokes, extra grade 22, as fast as you can go. And then you take a little bit of a rest, probably about, you know, 30, 40 seconds or so, and then you do the next one two beats higher. So you'll do 20 strokes at a stroke grade 24, um, as hard as you can go. And so you do that from um, 22 up to 30 or wherever you want to do your race piece at. And that will help you get good and warmed up and, um, yeah, help you rock out on your piece. Good luck.